Hey folks, Austin here with Southwest Florida Auto. Today we're going over our 1979 Mercedes Turbo Diesel. Let me make our way around to the back. This is the 300 SD Turbo Diesel out of 1979. Cool, cool little car. Um, like I said, it is a diesel. It is in great shape. Um, could use a paint job. It does need a little restoration. Um, there is some rust damage up here around the uh, sunroof. Um, aside from that though, it's in great, great shape. No real body work. Um, headlights are in great shape. It is missing one of the covers over here on the driver's side. Um, all the chromes though is in great shape. Chrome bumper, all the chrome here um, around the grill, great shape, as well as around all the wheel wells. Um, but there is, here and there, some rust cancer there down here obviously all the problematic areas if this car came from up north that's what would happen um, but all in all in great shape what I really want to show you is the interior oh well here I'll see if the trunk opens it's locked all right I'll start with the front it is a little stuck there but the front blue leather interior absolutely beautiful There's absolutely no issues with it once I get it to focus here. There we go. Absolutely perfect. Not a, uh, a tear, rip anywhere in any of the parts of the um, seats or all the way down to the carpet. The headliner also, great shape. It's kind of a perforated um, leather cover there. Back seats, just a good a condition. We'll fold down armrest, great shape. Um, really, really surprising how well the interiors held up on this particular uh, turbo diesel from 1979. So, that's something to consider there. Has air conditioning. Um, we are looking at only 119,775 miles, and that's on a diesel, um, a 1979 diesel, nonetheless. It's absolutely beautiful. But now I kind of want to take you guys on a little virtual test drive here, um, as soon as I get it in gear. <laughs> okay show you that it does run and drive it needs a little work there is one issue with the um, vacuum on this car I guess the all of it relies heavily on this vacuum um, all the way down to the ignition as far as starting and stopping the motor so um, I'll pop the hood now and show you that um, but I will get a little closer to the instrument cluster here. Rev it up a little bit for you. Show you it does run and drive good. Idles well. Um, but yeah, here. Let me pop the hood. Um, actually, before we get up there, I'll show you all the door panels on the car. You probably saw them in the pictures. Absolutely beautiful. Everything's still there. Um, all the chrome's in great shape. Aside from a quick detail, um, the interior is darn near flawless. Let me set the camera down really fast here. Alright, I'll try to talk a little louder so you can hear me. This is a diesel. Definitely sounds like one. Um, but it all heavily relies on this vacuum. Um, pump that is gone out on this car um, But here's how you can shut it off. I'll go ahead and do that now Okay so That's how you shut it off um, with this vacuum problem um, something easy fix if you get the part Okay, I'll do one more brief walk around to the car for you it is a blue in color um, sedan, absolutely beautiful, awesome little car to drive. Aside from the vacuum problem, this car is in great shape. Um, you know, like I said, there is some uh, rust issues around the sun visor here. But other than that, excellent little car. So again, I'm Austin, I'm with Southwest Florida Auto. If you'd like to take a look at um, 
our entire inventory, there should be a link in the comment section below to our website, as well as some other uh, contact information if you're trying to find out more about this particular vehicle. So again, I'm Austin, we're Southwest Florida Auto, and thank you for watching.